that's one of the uh, major reasons why I decided to come to Colombia. Um, I really do enjoy the core. We go through um, a lot of different subjects. Um, this year I took Lit Hum and we had university writing in Frosai. Um, Lit Hum is one of my favorite classes this semester. Um, I really, um, I'm an English major, so coming to Columbia, being able to read all these great books and sit in a small classroom setting and talk about all these wonderful books that I love reading is, um, I feel like one of the central experiences that I want as a college student and it's the experience that my Columbia um, journey so far has been centered around. Um, and later on, as a um, sophomore, junior, senior, we go through um, CC, Art Hub, Music Hub, and the Global Course, and I think those are also really great classes, and I'm looking forward to them. Okay, well, O open. As my feeling is that you're here at Columbia um, as a student, open to new ideas, hopefully, open to everything that Columbia has to offer. If you're here as a faculty, you're open to um, new ideas, open to doing things differently, opening to, uh, open to making education an interesting, collaborative, and rewarding thing for everybody involved students and the professors. So that's what I try to do in my classes and um, I don't know, I don't know if I succeed but I certainly give it a good try. Hey, so this is Low Steps. Um, this is the best hangout place for students. Um, when it's a nice spring day we just come out here and we sit and enjoy. Uh, play frisbee on the lawns or just hang around. This is low steps, it's very iconic. Well, you writing um, is not the most popular required core class, and as an engineer from experience, I can tell you like there's a reason for that. But like as much as I hate to admit it, the you writing class actually does help you with writing. Like my organizational skills vastly improved, um, and. It, it actually does help. And I mean, on the plus side, you can suffer with your friends. You writing is, as much as I hate to admit it, it actually, like, there's a reason that Columbia has it. Like, it, it's a good class, it's necessary, and it teaches you how to write. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. So what's great about the Makerspace is that if you have any sort of project, whether you're a C student or a Columbia College student, I guess, as long as you get certified, you can bring your project here. And that's the best part about the Makerspace because it really allows you to let your creativity just go all out. They have tons of equipment here from 3D printers to laser cutters to sewing machines. And it just gives you so many opportunities to, you know, cut loose and be creative. And so, like some some of these technologies, like 3D printers and laser cutters, it's not something that you're gonna find every day uh, at like a hardware store. It's something that is pretty exclusive, and you can make anything from. Like I did a project where I'm building a delay um, for one of the classes. We made some nose cones for rockets to carry eggs, which was pretty cool. And yeah, the makerspace is a really great place. A lot of opportunities and a lot of fun. Butler and Bacchanal are two defining elements of the Columbia experience, although for different reasons. Um, Butler is, um, if you ask anyone on campus, everyone knows where that is. It's a freshman experience that everyone must be a part of. It's a all-nighters there um, till 3 a.m. You always see people there. It's it's an integral part of being a college student. Um, and Bacchanal, the other end of the polar spectrum, is a time when all Columbia students can come together and unite in fun and enjoyment um, without fear of studying and stress that um, comes along with college. So. I would say that they're both defining elements of Columbia and they are both important for their own respect. Being in 
international student at Columbia is both difficult and easy. It's difficult like it is for everyone who comes to a different city, uh, in a different academic culture, and leads a very different life from the previous one they have. So, uh, especially for me that I'm an international student coming from Brazil who have who hasn't studied in an international school, it was a to totally different world, especially uh, because I have met a lot of Americans here, but also because I have met a lot of people from all around the world. Like, I know people from New Zealand, from China, from India, from literally every, every place in the world. And meeting people from all around the world has helped me improve as a person and broaden my horizons. Alma Mater, yup. It was made by Daniel Chester French a long time back, and there's lots of legend about it. They say the first freshman who can find the owl hidden in Alma's robes will graduate as valedictorian. Another rumor says every Columbia boy who finds it on his first try will marry a Barnard girl. But beyond everything, what Alma Mater truly is, is a symbol of our Colombian school spirit. And beyond everything, it is something that unites us at the center of this huge campus in the middle of this bustling city of New York. What Alma is, is a statue of Goddess Athena with the owl at her feet, of course. That kind of ties in with all the literature humanities and the European literature and history that we study. And tying in nicely into the core as well. And of course, all of us are way too familiar. Roar, lion, roar for Alma Mater on the Hudson Shore.